I'm Ashley with Girls Who Code, back with step one of part three in the Wizard's Wish game tutorial. Now that we have created the components to our game, it is time to add some movement to our sprite. How do we tell Scratch where to place an object on the stage? Let's find out. In this step, we'll learn about coordinates in Scratch. In this video, we will not add to our code. Instead, we will learn about motion in Scratch so that we can add to our program in the next step. To simulate motion in a program, we change the position or location of an object. To indicate the position of an object or sprite, we use coordinates. In fact, you may have already worked with coordinates and the coordinate plane in math class. The coordinate plane is a two-dimensional plane formed by the intersection of the x-axis, or the horizontal axis, and the y-axis, or the vertical axis. The point where these two lines cross is called the origin and is the centermost point on the plane. To describe the position of a point, object, or sprite, we represent the location with a coordinate pair. A positive x value will always move to the right. A negative x value will always move to the left. A positive y value will always move up, and a negative y value will always move down. Let's compare the two points 20, 100 and negative 20, negative 100. In the point 20, 100, the x value is a positive 20 and therefore moves to the right of the origin. Since the y value is a positive 100, the point moves up from the origin. Here is the point 20, 100. In the point negative 20, negative 100, the x value is negative and will move to the left. The y value is also negative and will move down from the origin. Here is the point negative 20, negative 100. By naming these coordinates, we can tell Scratch exactly where we want our sprite to appear on the screen. If we look below the stage, we will see that Scratch shows the coordinates of our sprite. Watch when we move our wizard toad around the screen. You will see that the coordinates of the sprite change. In Scratch, the largest x value on the screen is 240 pixels. The largest y value on the screen is 180 pixels. Pause the video and try moving your sprite around the screen. Can you get your sprite's location to be exactly on the point 0, 0? How about the point positive 20, negative 100? Were you able to move your sprite to these coordinates? The point 0, 0 is exactly in the center of the stage. The point 20, negative 100 moves to the right 20 from the origin and down 100. Dragging our sprite around the screen is not the most efficient way to place our sprite's location. If we know exactly where we want to place our sprite on the screen, we can code the x and y coordinates ourselves. Let's practice this by dragging out a set x2 and set y2 block from under the motion tab onto our stage. Connect these two blocks together. These blocks allow us to tell Scratch exactly where we want our sprite to be. For example, if we wanted our sprite to be at the point 50, 100, we would type 50 into the set x2 block and 100 into the set y2 block. Once you type in your values, double click the blocks to move the sprite. Pause the video and try this out. Now, your sprite should be in the position of 50, 100. Remember, we can check this location below the stage. Now, what if we change the point 50, 100 to 50, negative 100? What direction would the sprite move in? Up, down, left, or right? Use your program to check your ideas. Remember, once you type in your values, double click the blocks to move the sprite. Pause the video and try this out. Great, by changing the y value from 100 to negative 100, our sprite will move down below the origin. That's it for step one. In the next step, we'll use our knowledge of coordinates to make our sprite move around the screen. 